Hello guys, so in this video I want to do computation how to find the tangent space to some smooth uh, surface in R3. So let our smooth surface uh, like S to be uh, a cylinder. So since S is going to be subset R3, then uh, we want to uh, have a way how we're going to describe it S, and then we're going to describe S the set of points X, Y, and Z that belongs to R3, such that for example like X squared plus Y squared is equal to one. Then the good thing, like when we have simple, uh, pretty simple surface, we always can uh, sketch it. And sketching the surface will allow us to visualize and to see what is going on. So to sketch the surface first, observe that we have x squared plus y squared is equal to one. So that we know is going to be a circle in x, y plane. But since we have a, our third component, then it means uh, we want to find a set of points uh, x, y, and z, which satisfies x squared plus y squared plus uh, is equal to 1. And since there is no z component there, that means every value of z works. So in other words, I can just take the circle and trace along the axis. And if I'm going to trace along the axis, I'm going to obtain the cylinder. Okay, so it's a different story how to show, for example, that uh, that cylinder is a smooth manifold or like a smooth surface. But my goal for today is to find uh, and to show how to find the tangent space at some point. And for example, let's choose this point uh, a with coordinates uh, 0 1 0 so then what I'm going what I'm going to do I'm going to find the tangent space to my surface s at the point a and this is uh, going to be like in the symbol or like I don't know the uh, our like tangent space uh, at that point so let me just list a couple of factors about the tangent space so first that tangent space is going to be a two-dimensional vector space imagine that we have piece of this like smooth surface and then what is going to be a tangent uh, space? Tangent space, like every time when you're going to take, let's say, some curve gamma inside my uh, like manifold, then at this point A over here, what we can do, if we're going to choose parameterization for our surface, so it means my particle is going to move from here there, then at this point I'm going to be able to find the tangent factor of my particle. So I'm going to be able to find gamma prime at some, let's say, zero. And then if I'm going to choose another curve, let's say it's going to, that was gamma one, and I'm going to choose curve gamma two, then I can find a different parameterization and another like tangent vector, gamma prime two at zero. And you, right now you can see we have two linear independent vectors. And imagine right now if you're going to take just any curve uh, by taking just gamma 1 and kind of rotating towards gamma 2 and taking gamma 2 and rotating around, then we're going to have the whole like family of the tangent vectors over here. And that whole family is going to lie in some, uh, in some plane. And that plane is exactly going to be called uh, tangent space of my surface at the point A. So in other words, tangent uh, space is going to contain all possible velocity vectors for the curves that go uh, through the point A. So now the question is how exactly like or what is the definition of the tangent space? How are we going to compute? And here we're going to use the fact that um, S is a smooth. So that means I can find um, a local chart or I can find the parameterization uh, for my surface. And in this case, uh, let's choose the following parameterization. So first I'm going to choose the open set U which is going to be equal to uh, zero uh, 2 pi times r. So in other words, if you will imagine um, our like chart that we have u and v, then my u in that case, small u and v, then my u in that case is going to be this open set. It's going to be the kind of uh, that stripe that goes from 0 to 2 pi and from a negative infinity to positive infinity. And you can see that is going to be exactly chart because you can take that stripe and kind of wrap around and you're going to get almost the whole cylinder, only uh, missing one, uh, uh, like one like subset, which con uh, which is like actually like a straight line. Then when we have our open set, I'm going to uh, take the parameterization from u to r3, and I'm going to define my parameterization as uh, r of u and v is going to be equal to cosine u sine u. And v. So for example, if I'm going to take v is equal to zero over here, yes, it's going to be v is equal to zero, then my parameterization is going to be r u of zero is equal to cosine of zero, sorry, cosine of u, sine of u, and zero. And this is exactly is going to be a circle that's going to lie in 
uh, xy plane because first you can see that your z component is equal to zero and your if you i'm going to indicate this is my x component this is my y component then i have x squared plus y squared is equal to one so that is going to be exactly a circle but that that's going to be not a whole circle because uh, do you see like u over here u over here changes between zero and two pi so that's why I'm not going to include point zero and I'm not going to include point uh, two pi. But what is going to be R of zero, zero? R of zero, zero is going to be one, zero, zero. So that means I'm going to take almost a whole circle, but without that point over here. And since right now I can just uh, like take, for example, this U to be equal to zero and take my V and just uh, trace it, then in this case, you can see I'm going to have the following, I will have r of 0 uh, and v is going to be equal to 1, 0, v. So since that point 0 is not included over here, you see like this, these points are missing, then that means this line in R3, where like uh, when z is equal to v, it means I'm going to just trace uh, this point along uh, z axis. Then this part of the uh, chart is going to be missing. So right now you can see that this parameterization over here, if I will be asked like, to sketch what is the image of the parameterization, the image of the parameterization is going to be a whole cylinder without, without that orange line. So this is how we find the parameterization and find its image uh, and how we can visualize some curves that we have uh, in R2 and we can sketch those curves uh, in R3. Okay, as soon as we have our parameterization, what we can do, we can give a definition of the tangent space of that point. So tangent space of that point is going to be a two-dimensional vector space, and that vector space is going to be given as following. Uh, I'm going to write using that notation is going to be uh, the value of my parameterization at that point. So it's going to be R of u0, v0. Because remember, this point, a, a 0, 1, 0, is given in x, y, and z coordinate. But this point over here is going to be image of some point over here. So we that image is going to be uh, the image of the point a prime, and we need to find the coordinates of a prime. Okay, and plus um, the span of r prime uh, partial u of u naught v naught and r uh, v partial uh, v r partial v v not v not. So what uh, so what does it mean that I have r partial u and r partial v? Why do we have those uh, um, kind of partials uh, for finding like our tangent space? Uh, imagine like this. So if we have u constant, we're going to obtain um, these lines, straight lines. So in other words, my cylinder is going to be covered by uh, like that grid. So one of the uh, lines of the grid is going to be given by u constant. And when if I'm going to make v constant, I'm going to get uh, that orange grid. So that's why I'm going to have a kind of this orange grid. So you can see that my surface can be covered in some sense by that grid. And if I'm going to choose some point over here, then r partial u is going to be the rate of change uh, towards towards the change when u variable is going to change but u variable is going to change i'm going to travel along this circle it's going to be r partial u and r partial v is going to be uh, the rate of change when i'm going to travel along uh, that line so that is going to be my r partial v so you can see when i have the grid i have like kind of two curves on my surface and I can find the rate of change along those curves. But those rate of changes exactly are going to be our last two vectors. And since our vector space is two dimensional, you know, that's why you need to know on those two uh, velocity vectors to be able to span the whole vector space. And this R of U and V, uh, this idea is just uh, to kind of land uh, that vector space at this uh, point or at this original point A. Why? Because we know that vector space might, must contain zero. So that's why we have the span over there. But but you want to place the vector space somewhere else. So that's why you're going to add some vectors. Sorry, that's why you're going to add some vector to it. So in other words, you're going to shift your vector space up to this point over here. So that's why we exactly uh, have uh, that point A010. And right now we're going to find the tangent space at that point. So first let's find R of U and R of V. So that's going to be equal to minus sine U 
uh, cosine u n0, and it's going to be equal 0, 0, 1. So the next goal, I need to find um, u0 and v0. But we know that point A has this coordinate 0, 1, 0. So that's why I have r of u0, v0 is equal to A. But that is equal to the following. That is going to be equal to cosine of u0, sine of u0, and v0 is equal to uh, 0, 1, 0. So from here, you will see that v is equal to 0 and u0 is equal to pi over 2. So that's why I'm going to have that point exactly like in the middle uh, of our like stripe. So uh, to compute the tangent space, then I need to find r of, uh, we already know what is r of u0, uh, v0 is going to be equal to 0, 1, 0. Then I need to find the values of my partial derivatives at that point. So I'm going to have r of u uh, at pi over 2 and 0 is going to be equal to minus 1, uh, 0, 0. And r of v at that point pi over 2 and 0 is going to be equal to uh, 0, 0, 1. So you can see that my tangent space is going to be uh, a vector 0, 1, 0 plus the span of these two vectors, uh, minus 1, 0, 0, and uh, 0, 0, 1. So let's sketch these vectors um, in R3. Uh, neg minus 1, 0, 0 is going to be a vector that directed over here. This is going to be R, R of partial u, and R partial v is going to be along this direction, this R partial v. And then you can see that if we're going to find the span of those two vectors, I'm going to get exactly that uh, tangent space. So there's going to be that line attached to this point is going to be T A of S. But we know that if we want to write the span of two vectors, that is the same as I'm going to take my first vector 0, 1, 0, and the span is just po all possible linear combinations. So it's going to be, let's call it uh, U uh, at minus 1, 0, 0, plus V at 0, 0, 1. And since I want to have all possible linear combinations, then I'm going to have u and v are going to be all possible real numbers. But then if I'm going to have uh, the sum of three vectors over here, I will end up with uh, minus u. And then my second component is going to be 1. And my third component is going to be v. And u and v are real numbers. And that is going to be exactly a subset of R3 which is a plane and which is a tangent space uh, to surface S at the point A. Okay guys, uh, we are done for today, so please let me know if you have any questions. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.